The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture of you me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty Gurman, and alongside me, pretty much as usual, we have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the best DEI hire of all time, and he'll put your wiener in his mouth. Please welcome back, Mr. JP. I mean, I probably would. You would. Uh, yeah. and there's no doubt about it. Not everyone. Yeah, I know. Uh, but just most everybody. <laughs> 95%. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but we also have another excellent stand-up comedian. He is the only, at least currently, the only two-time funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. Please welcome back Mr. Derek the Wreck Alders. Uh, Host him. When the fuck did you start drinking Gatorade? <laughs> What? <laughs> After last week's episode, seeing if there was anything <laughs> in it. Last week, that motherfucker passed out <laughs> after we got done. I, I, I guarantee it. I wasn't shit can. Oh, he was feeling real, I was real good. Tip- I was tipsy, though. He was at the point where he's like, I love you, man. <laughs> he was that guy. Just, I was, I love he's you, like, man, after you, the man. show. My yeah. God. Yeah. Hey, man, just That's so you right. know, man. Yeah. I love you, man. I love you, dude. Hey, I love you back, Sky. <laughs> Thanks, man. Next week, he's going to be drinking Pedialyte. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> Jesus. I'm working my way backwards. He's on a seven day hangover. Oh uh, no, I, no. Uh, Your getting, voice sounds better. It's getting better. It's not. It's, it's not a hundred percent yet. It sounds a lot better but it's though. Definitely better than last week. Uh, but yeah. Um, by the way, uh, if you've never listened to one of these episodes, this is a comedy podcast. We like to make very is inappro- it though. Yeah, yeah, All for right. sure. For well, sure. All right. yeah, it's a comedy podcast. It's turned into one since you quit. <laughs> <laughs> that no. makes sense. No, I, th- I that th- makes sense. I think we lost a step or two whenever that happened. Uh. But anyways, this is a comedy podcast. Where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports, and uh, very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports at all. This is also an adult podcast. We like to use foul language and offend people who are easily offended. So if that's you, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here and eat a bag of dicks. Okay. Uh, we, yeah, we we got two of them in the mail one time. <laughs> we sure did. Yeah, Mike ate some the other day. They're, <laughs> they're sitting up there. Mike had they one. Are. They are. They are. I think Steve might have ate one, too. Uh, he did. Uh, yeah. He did, but we have a brand new bag over there. Uh, yeah. I say brand new. It's just been... We just hadn't opened it yet. Uh, but anyways, uh, we have an excellent episode uh, for you guys this week. Um, we've got a lot happening uh, for football. We, uh, we've we got some stuff to go over in hot topics. I can't sing, though. Uh, but... Um, <sighs> Anyways, uh, we have Never Have I Ever, That's Where I Draw the Line, <laughs> Questions and Preguntas, a draft, and as always, we wrap things up with a shitty situation, but before we get to that, uh, let's go over what happened to us over the last week. We call it our week, week recap, and we always start this off with JP. My God. Whew. JP, uh, what, what, what did you do, bud? It's been a couple of weeks from you. No, it hadn't. No. No, okay. Just, last just week. one. That's right. I'd fuck, I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, did you do anything fun? I know you bowled. Yeah. How'd you do? Not great. Oh, that sucks. Did, mm. uh, did you smoke some weed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That was How'd you do? Great. <laughs> How'd you do great. That? Did you do a good job? <laughs> really <laughs> good. Like nice. maybe too good. Yeah. 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 I did yeah. get a question from a listener and pardon me. I don't remember who it was. I just read over it today, but, uh, they wanted to know like, uh, do you like sharing your own, your weed? Yeah, man. Do you really? For sure. I'm very, very yeah. generous. Mm-hmm. Something tells me that's not right with me. <laughs> I think you said you would, you would just sell me like your seeds and stems. You have to, you have to suck his dick to get a toe. <laughs> oh, okay. But, yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. look, we'll work something out. <laughs> okay. Fair no, enough. But really, I'd rather smoke with somebody. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Anyway. And I'm going to smoke it whether you're there or not. Sure. So you might as well fuck it. If you want some, fine. If ah. you don't, fine. Yeah, I don't. But yeah, I'm not stingy. I'm yeah, not makes, that guy. Makes me paranoid. Yeah. Uh, so you bowled, you smoked weed, you played video games, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Did you eat anything good? <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. One thing. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. I had me a grinder hookup for the first time in a long <laughs> oh time. God. Ladies and gentlemen, JP. Thank you. Did he recognize you? Yeah, man. He did. Uh, no, not from the show. Oh, thank God. J- yeah. And but we're going to bring uh, him out right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, please welcome out. It was a weird deal. Travis Cagle. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he's. Straight. Oh no! And I think he has a girlfriend. Oh and no! All that good stuff. And Travis he's Cagle, much younger <laughs> oh, no. than I am. Uh, yeah, he's like fourteen. That's kinda, no that's man. Kinda, that's scary. That's seventeen and a half. Oh my no, god! I'm god. kidding. That's Jesus Christ. He was twenty three. Oh, he was twenty three. Still, Jesus Christ, he's fucking Diddy over here. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. You got a you got a freak off ha- happening, yeah, I guess. It was, it was a pretty good deal, really. Uh, that's uh, good for you. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Like, do you think every once in a while, whenever you get like an, an alert from Grinder, that they, you you obviously screen them and look through their profile? That's why it's been so long <laughs> okay. since I've done that okay. from there because ninety nine percent of the people on there <laughs> look no, thank you, please look like you, right. <laughs> Right. Nobody wants to see a picture of my b hole. But <laughs> yeah, I no get them joke. every day. You know what I mean? Uh, like, all right. My grinder app just tells me where I can get good sandwiches. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, <laughs> that's, that's a different. That's, yeah. uh, that's the grinder man. Ah. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's a big time throwback, but it still makes me laugh whenever it pops up because uh, I get like old videos of whenever we, me, you and Jeremy were on the unfiltered sports cast uh, back when it was a good show. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, you had your whole grinder thing. Do you remember, remember that the whole, uh, uh, your wife got, or his wife got him some coffee. Do you remember this? Yeah. Yeah. I do that on stage now, but that really did happen. Yeah. It, well, finish the story. I don't know. I'm good. Okay, fine. Don't finish it. <laughs> Because I'll butcher the shit out of it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you really like the show enough, go and find it because it was really funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you dick. You guys don't like me telling the same jokes. So I, I'm not I do don't that. feel like I've officially started the show yet either. Uh, yeah, well, we're, we're kind of moving I on. I don't to think that. I can fucking officially start the show until I've heard my music. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> there it is. That ain't it. <laughs> there it is. Folks. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, JP. Jesus Christ. Christ. No, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got that's enough. I like the oh, first one. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I know too. you do. No, that's actually Mike's music. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, you sure it's not America? <laughs> it could Fuck be, yeah, it could be. That's, that's the actually the that's the new uh, that's the new uh, music for the show. That's uh, gonna be, that's, yeah, that's what's gonna be. Uh, but nah, actually, you know what? Let's kick it off, Derek. Derek, you haven't been here for a couple of weeks, so uh-huh. yeah. Uh, what have uh, what have you been doing? Not a goddamn thing, Scott. Really? Uh, no, I, I haven't been doing shit. That, that's uh, good, though, right? Uh, hey, kinda, man, I got a lot. I'm getting ready to start doing. Okay, <laughs> so uh, I'm going on vacation. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to watch my first college football game since I was 16 years oh, old. Oh fuck. So uh, in Illinois and no, oh, no, no. Shit. we're gonna go watch K State KU. Okay, that's worth it. So we're going to obviously not Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're gonna go to that game, uh, and then I'm going to a Blackhawks game next weekend. Oh, good or, stuff. Or this weekend, and yeah. Then, uh, yeah, so I've got a bunch of shit coming up. This past week I didn't do anything. It was our tenth wedding anniversary. Yep. But my wife was out of town. Uh, so that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why the hell didn't we play poker? I don't know. What the hell's wrong with you, man? I, we actually did. Oh fuck you! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah, we, you. We did play, dude. I knew I didn't like yeah. you. By the way, you owe me eighty bucks. Yeah, right. <laughs> seems fair. Actually, you seems, lost. Seems like kind yeah. of a bargain. Yeah. Actually, I'll just, just say, give you yeah. the eighty. Yeah. yeah, we had Ghost Fag in seat eight. <laughs> <laughs> he played everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, oh shit that's great um, no i, I did uh G- find uh <laughs> gfp fag poker. Yeah. i'm gonna start my own line <laughs> wow <laughs> we uh i did buy a video game oh what'd you buy uh, 
I only bought it because it was cheap, and I haven't bought it for like four years. My Little Pony. <laughs> He's trying I'm, to justify it. No, so I'm bad wearing right the shirt. I bought WWE 2K24. Oh, oh that's okay. God. It was like 25 bucks. Though? Yeah, dude, I understand. I like playing with the dudes that from like the fucking 90s and I do 80s. Too. I, I do too. So, I don't know I do any. Too. I don't know any Mostly of the guys. Mostly the know. early 2000s are better for me. But. Yeah, me too. Uh, let's be honest. 2010s for you, Jay. Yeah, okay. You're right. <laughs> uh, oh, but uh, 2010. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. But I did buy that, and I've been I played that quite a bit the last couple of days. I want to cool. buy. I want to get Undisputed. Is what I want to get. Okay, which is the new boxing game they released. They haven't yeah. released one since like Fight Night. Yeah, I, I, I did hear about. Fucking it. love Fight Night. Yeah. So I'm waiting to see because I've bought a lot of shit lately that like the day it comes out and it sucks ass. Do you play sports so, games? Yeah. Have you played college football? No, I have not. Dude, it's great. I have not. It's really, it's probably the best football game I've played in years. I haven't played it, and it's fucking terrible. Yeah, he <laughs> said that last week. He's an idiot. <laughs> he doesn't even have it. So yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. waiting to see the reviews on Undisputed a little bit, and then I'll probably grab it. So sure, no, that makes sense. Because yeah, uh, I bought that stupid Lord of the Rings Golem game, and that was <laughs> trash. Whoops. Whoops. I was like, uh, and I still beat it, which sucks. That's a, yeah. I'm like, I've started this. That's like <laughs> masturbating, like with a half chub, and like it's gonna get hard eventually. I'm just gonna finish. Like, it's, no, it's just the, you're determined. You started it. You're gonna finish that's it. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Ah, oh, man. Well, and then you got Ghost of Tsushima that's going to be coming out before too long. I don't think that's coming out till like, next year. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, they've already been teasing it and shit. And I haven't so seen anything. I, I, but I keep, but I get alerted for that kind of shit. Uh, if I, I, if I, I, I will, I'll play the fuck out of it. Oh, yeah. I for, love the first one. For sure. One. You could be right. They may have delayed it or something like that. I don't know. But um, so that's, it, Oh, and we went to the movies and watched a fucking horrible movie. Oh, let me have it. What do you got? The Joker part two. Okay. All right. So I've, this is such a controversy. I've heard right? so many. No, I have heard. I have not heard a single person go. You know what? That new Joker movie was badass. Brian. I have. What? I've heard Brian people say that. Loved Are you serious? Yeah, yes. Dude. You know who else really loved it? Owen Marshall. Is he gay? <laughs> Owen Marshall? Well, no, I don't know. Maybe. Then you know it's good. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> I'm just misinterpreting it then. Oh, God. Uh, it was terrible, man. And yeah, I, don't, I don't care that it was a musical. It was funny because like, I wanted to see the new Willy Wonka movie when it came out. And then someone was like, it's a musical. And I'm like, oh, never mind. And I was telling my wife about it. She's like, honey, the first one was a musical. And I was like, oh, yeah. All right, I'll watch it. <laughs> okay. And I, didn't, I actually didn't mind it. Yeah. But, heard- but this was awful because like, the music didn't even – it would just be like a scene of the movie. And then a random fucking song, and then it didn't. Nothing flowed together. Yeah, it was. I, oh God! I mean, I you guys know that me. fucker owes me two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know me. I hate superhero movies. I hate. I hate villain movies. I hate the shows. I'm. I just don't like. It. I can't get into it. And and those of you guys that like that shit, I completely understand. I really do. But I I have a whole bunch of friends who are into this shit. And they are pissed. Like, yeah. they are angry because of, of the way that they did it, how shitty it was. And, like, Lady Gaga is supposed to be Harley Quinn. Yeah. And I heard she did shitty, too. It just None of it was good. Yeah. So, they didn't even tuck her dick in. There's there's oh, a part where you no? can just fully see it oh, in her suit. That's yeah. not that shocking, actually. The just, best part was the credits. <laughs> like, that's pre-show, yeah. pre-show credits, no, post-show. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. They had over. the soundtrack probably playing in the background. Oh God, it was so fucking bad, <laughs> dude. And I was all excited for it, and then I was like, ah, oh, no wonder there's only twelve people here. <laughs> and we went like the day it came the out. The day it came yeah. out. Oh man, it's. Ugh. I, I did. I heard. I heard a whole bunch of people were like so amped up to because the previews were good. Yeah. I thought the previews looked. Gr- I actually told my wife. I said, "Hey, I actually may watch this because the previews looked really rad." And then the fucking first week, all you hear is it is shit. And I'm like, "Okay, well, glad I'm not doing that." Uh huh. It's trash. Yeah. Anything else? Any shows you got? You're, you're kind of hooked on right now. Uh. I've, I'm guilty. I'm a slut for Big Brother, and it ended. Okay, all right. And the chick that won's a fucking, or the chick that took second is a fucking idiot. Okay, well, she didn't win, so good. Be, she lost, like, she, 
you get to take one person to the final two and you can take the person, she could have took the person that won a shitload of competitions or the person that didn't win any competitions. And then if she would have took the guy that didn't win anything, they would have voted her the winner. And she took the chick that won everything. Oh God. And she lost seven to nothing. Oh, very and good. And lost three quarters of a million dollars. Oh, all so right. Well, like you do. She's a dumbass. Okay. Well, that that's fine. Okay. Well, I guess I'll move on to my week. You guys can go ahead and take a nap. Um, I, uh, I did celebrate my birthday. Uh, I, I texted you. You did. You did. I yeah. thank you very much. I came over. JB <laughs> flat out came so over. So you can go fuck your text. <laughs> Is that why your voice was all fucked up? <laughs> no. Yep. No. No, generally we try Happy to. Happy re- birthday. <laughs> yeah, he was singing that outside my fucking Do like, front you? door. <laughs> No, uh, JP is generally pretty good, and I normally text everybody, hey, we're going to record on this day. Not normally. Every Every time. time. And JP. What time do we record? Do you know? On Tuesdays, (laughs) 6 15. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But on Sunday is four o'clock. I did not send out any text message. In fact, I sent out a text message uh, like four days before telling them, hey, we're going to record on Tuesday because I'm out of town. And I get a fucking knock at 6.15 <laughs> on Sunday, and I'm just, it's JP. And I'm like, what the fuck? And he, it, it turned out as no big deal. But turns out he was at my house fucking three hours earlier to do the same shit. What the fuck's wrong with What me, is man? wrong with you, buddy? Well, the good news is you have a fully functioning glory hole while you I, were gone. I, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. sure yeah. did. Oh, yeah. yeah, he stayed in there probably for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, but no, I, I did get to celebrate my birthday. I went down to uh, my my sister lives down in uh, Gore, Oklahoma, which is on Grand Lake, which is pretty fucking rat. She's doing great with both of her amputated legs. She's got better legs now. Oh, good. All right. Good. Um, she washed that puss. Uh, it's it's <sighs> still it's got lake water in it now. So, oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. A little, mm. So well, it was better. It did have ocean water. That's true. <laughs> it was a little gritty. A little gritty. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. All I can see is just gritty popping out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Covered in kelp. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, we had a really great time down. I've never been to Grand Lake, and Jesus Christ, it's a that's a big fucking lake. Yeah, that's why they call it Grand. Uh, yeah, yeah, but there's a lake that's like uh, maybe 30 miles to the direct west that's like twice the size of it. So I guess they got big lakes in What's Oklahoma. What's that one? Uh, I can't pronounce it. Okay. Uh, Chickahoo or some shit like that. Uh, Chickahoo. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a Native American lake for sure. Uh, but anyway, also the name of a Jay Z song. <laughs> yeah, they said, filled it with the, the tears from the trail. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> That's it. Uh, but yeah, big fucking lake. Got to go out, and we um, got to like in the boat. Go buy these fucking ginormous houses, dude. I don't. I can't fucking fathom oil money, baby. Holy shit! It it was incredible, and I I could not imagine living there at all there's no like it doesn't compute i could i know and you that's could. why i sit in my room and cry at night. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know i could have had it all but here we are like on a nice boat and thinking oh, man this is nice and fancy I and then i have my own plane i oh well you could have because he has a plane that's crazy that's fun yeah but you can't anymore no, no sure can't uh so there was that um i was telling katie that like the other day I said, when we go to Chicago one of these times, I want to stay in, in the Zachary Hotel. I think that'd be cool. I don't even know Which like is. It's like the hotel that fucking Richie McFuckass built, the guy that owns the Cubs, and it's in oh. like Wrigleyville. Okay. And it's pretty new, and it looks really fucking cool. And then I looked up how much it was to stay a night, and like it was like 8 54 a night. And I'm like, Jesus. Yeah, I'm, oh, never, that's not I'm, bad. I'm, I'm never ne- staying there. Never staying there. Like, I, I never. can't, I can't, I can't spend more than like 200 a night and that's on vacation like if i don't have a choice yeah no. but otherwise i'll take a regular key to my room like i don't <laughs> need even the car but <laughs> you know like i'll just take a interstate motel yeah. 73 yeah. that's fine i'll be my i'll byob bring your own bed bugs be, yeah. byob absolutely yeah. it's the key that has like the long fucking uh-huh. like yeah, stick right. on it yeah, yeah. yeah. that yeah that's your room number is on the keychain yeah like but I'll so are that. three others yeah. they work for all of them yeah. exactly <laughs> Like fuck that. Yeah, no, I, I can't do that. Uh uh-uh. uh. Um, but I have I have actually really been getting into like drinking uh, decent whiskey. I'm not gonna say like fucking expensive shit. Ah, uh, like Kentucky Deluxe. No, oh. no. I just just a lot of good stuff. I follow I follow a dude on Crown YouTube. Royal. <laughs> no, that's hey, you drink no. Crown Apple. I don't want to hear it. I drink Crown Apple. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah but he's also not. Yeah. <laughs> I would go Woodford if I was going to drink a good like whiskey. a sipping whiskey. Of yeah. course, you're going to go with wood. Yeah, I like that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. No, I twenty three uh, year old wood. 
I was trying and do, twenty three. And don't old. judge me on this if you already drink a lot. I, I already I've been, judged. I I, I uh, I've been looking for Buffalo Trace and in Wichita. It comes in once a week, and I just want to try it. I, I've heard really. Mixed, Mick, yeah, you can't find it. Can't find it. I've been makes no sense. I've been looking over the, li- the liquor store by you. The liquor stores uh, all over my area never have it, and mm. it's not like it's supposed to be really awesome. I just want to try it because a lot you of people go have to the mixed poor feelings. neighborhoods, bro. Maybe. I mean, that's good. No bullshit. <laughs> Try Hillside and Douglas. Okay. I R&J might actually, Liquor. I might actually Guarantee do that. Guarantee they have You're it. probably right. Oh, I know I'm right. Um, but I'll probably get shot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, is that I end up going, yeah, thanks. Cross your fingers, you dicks. <laughs> Wear a lot of money around your belt. <laughs> yeah. I think the only way Scotty gets shot is if he just sits down in his truck wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. Fight. He shoots himself. Pow! That could happen. Plaxico Burris' ass. Yeah. God. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, that, but on top of Buffalo Trace, they actually have a more, a more premium line, which is called Eagle Rare. And I, you cannot find it anywhere in Wichita. Same thing, same story. But I've been looking for it for a little bit longer. And so we go to Grove, Oklahoma, and we go to this podunk fucking piece of shit liquor store. They got it. Got it on the fucking shelf. Yeah, because nobody's up, buying that shit. Marked up quite a bit, but yeah. I really wanted to try it, and I swear to God. It How is, much was that a bottle? Uh, how much did I pay for it is what's how MSRP. Much, how much did you pay for it? I paid $89 for it. Oh, no, God. That's, not, that's nothing, bro. I, if, it, if it was a lot more than that, I would that's never have bought nothing. it. nothing. You but stand at the Hotel yeah, Zachary too, said, bud, or yeah, what do you got going you on? You said you wanted fucking good alcohol. I, it is good. It, no, it, like, it, like fucking three, three fifty, no, four hundred dollars No, that's, no. That's this is something I'm starting into. I'm okay. not, I'm not going to But that's weird that. for you. Normally... This you is start true. something, and this next is thing the, you know, you got two snowboards hanging on the wall. This is true. Or a this Tiger is, Woods fucking fitting guy yeah. fitting you for a new driver. I didn't. Or, or an arsenal. Or an arsenal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or an arsenal. But those things you get a lot of use out 55 of. 55 gallon drums of bullets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know. You get a lot of use out of those. Yeah, dude. For, well, you get a lot of use out of whiskey, too. No, no. What, what you At get out of whiskey is last week's episode. So I don't yeah, want to. I, I like that's, 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 that's why I'm back on Gatorade for this week. Today's show is sponsored by Gatorade. <laughs> is it in you? Yeah. It, it's in me. Uh, but anyways, uh, other than that, Keep drinking that whiskey, it will be. Yeah, no shit. Thanks, JP. Then you get Gator AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. worse. Yeah, that is worse. That could that shit could kill you. It could. Uh, but then yeah, the last Magic Johnson's fine. Right, he's that's had true. It for a while. Yeah, he's had it for a long time. He's got bet, bet, uh, a little better health care than I do, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, then the last thing I finally and a house on Grand Lake. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, does he really? Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he decides. You know what? Fuck L.A. I'm going to go to <laughs> Oklahoma. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, uh, but last but not least, I did finally finish the Rings of Power. I'll give myself a round of applause for that. Uh, me and my wife watched it together. Um. I'm a big Lord of the Rings nut, so I'm gonna already like it. Fucking I'm gonna, nerd. I'm gonna be biased. I know. I'm. I get it. Uh, but I was. Uh, I was. I did not like this this season as much as the first one. I know they're coming out with a third one. So, but it just. It didn't have that. Oomph. And they. Uh, yeah. It. It was. It was good, but it wasn't great. So that's what I got to say about that. All right. Let's, anyways, let's move on. Anyways. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, it. No problem. Uh, but do want to make an announcement. We do have Wichita's Funniest Person Contest qualifying rounds through October, which, uh, you know, that's going on right now. No. Nah. Three uh, Pete? No, I'm hosting. Come He's on. hosting. He's hosting. I'm going to host man. the finals. Hosting the finals because the finals. Three Pete. Three Pete. Uh, nah. if, he, if, if he could, he would. Dude, man. I think he could. I, I know. I know. Nah. Uh, but the finals are on November the 20th. And do you, and you know yet where it's going to be at? Wave. Wa- uh, Club Wave. Yep. Yeah. And Club. that's a good. I think indoor deal. Uh, I'm guessing, yeah, indoor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless they sell enough tickets and they'll put it outside. How but. shitty would that be, man? You're in the middle of a set and you just hear <laughs> <laughs> fucking train. <laughs> fucking train comes going, going across. Yeah, man. if you guys want to look up Club Wave in Wichita, Kansas, there's a giant ass train that just come fucking blown dude, by. What a fucking great venue, though. It is a great venue. I it's saw the offspring there. Dude. They were fucking incredible. It's a great yeah. fucking venue, man. Uh, my brother was there too. Was he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a good time. Your sister was too. The whole band met her. Oh, uh, that's great. <laughs> 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 Thanks, buddy. <laughs> but anyways, the cheapest way to support the show is to drop a like and and leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please do us a favor and subscribe. That does actually help us out. We have a lot of new followers over the last uh, couple of weeks. We're making a making a run on Instagram. Some hot ones too. Good for you, JP. I'm just saying some uh-huh. of these some of these people on here. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. But I'm gonna have to unfollow Jesus. I know. <laughs> yeah, you know we need to get our numbers down yeah. there. <laughs> Thanks, Derek. Uh, but let's move on to hot topics. I can't sing yet. I was close. It's close. I can't. Derek do it. loves it when I know, you do that. I know, but that's why we do it anyway. Yeah. Right there, you go. Have a nice time. Uh, but the that's, first, that's why I'm here every other week. Yeah. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk <laughs> about on hot topics. At least let's get this out of the way because we dropped it on last week's episode because Garth Brooks was in some serious trouble. Hot water. He All was right. in hot water. He is out of said hot water. Yeah. He's yeah. Cool he out of hot water. He found some friends in low places. Yeah. He's and good. Uh, and looks like they buried the hatchet with the handle sticking out. What did he do? Uh, he was accused of sex uh, saying uh, a like either hair. What is that? All right, sexually assaulting. Okay, a, a, that makes more sense. Like a makeup artist, a makeup artist, or hair artist, or something like that. I and thought he got two dots tattooed right here when he said he was essaying. No, I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> no. Like, no, he is he's uh, wearing a bandana it, now instead yeah. of a cowboy hat. Yeah, yeah. he only buttons his flannel yeah. to here, yeah. and that's yeah. it. Like. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it turns out it was just thunder rolling. It wasn't anything. Yeah. Good, you know, that's that, cool. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing big. It's already been off of him. So, but moving on to sports. Uh, obviously, we made predictions of who we thought was going to be in the World Series, and I don't think any of us got it right. Uh, we are now down to the. Uh, I had the Cubs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me too, man. Yeah. 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 We're Every both, year, we're man. both very disappointed. <laughs> yeah. We have now the Mets uh, playing the Dodgers and the Yankees playing the Guardians. That's the Indians, and I don't care what anybody fucking says. Uh, but you know, why do they make some teams change their shit, but not other teams? Uh, it's really stupid. It's, it's absolutely dumb. it's dumber than shit. Like, how are the Braves still the Braves? The Redskins actually have people of the tribe. That was that actually one, a yeah. chief that are like, "Fuck K- you, we Kansas want it back." City, in football. Kansas City is the same thing. Yeah, they try to change it, and the one dude, whatever his name is, he's like, "Man, that's like a tribute to yeah us." No, we want our culture yeah, left in this man. thing. It's stupid. Uh, so uh, with that, meanwhile, being said, the Yankees are. I think we got to change that. I think so too. That's, that offends the fuck out of me. Why? Yeah, it's, the same thing as a, it's the same thing as a quickie, but you can do yeah, it by yourself. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but yes. Uh, so who do we got? Who are you guys rooting for? I know uh, Derek. Uh, Mets. You're rooting for the Mets. Yep, I think so. Okay, I'll take that. I'd like to see the Mets win. That'd be cool. Derek, Subway Series. Uh, yeah. I'm rooting for either the Mets or the Yankees. A, yeah. lo- a lot Obviously. of people. Uh, yeah. There's actually a lot more people than I thought that are rooting for a Subway Series. The Yankees because of Rizzo. I know, yeah, that's, for you. That's why. And the Mets, because they're not the Dodgers. Yeah, so. no, I, I, I agree with that. I really want it to be the Mets in Cleveland, and I, would, I wouldn't I would care. And uh, Mets fans have fucking suffered. I know no Cleveland fans that. have too, but God damn it, that's where LeBron's from, so I can't. <laughs> yeah. There's and no I've, way they beat the Yankees. I I don't know. They got a, they got a chance. No, Maybe. I don't think so. I, I, I think Grimace throws a first pitch out if they go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for you sure. You have to. Uh, hey, you've seen the stats. Ever since he threw that first pitch out, they've been the best team in baseball. They were ass. <laughs> yeah. And then Grimace comes out Fucking and saves Grimace, the day. Dude. Let him Grimace, close. Dude, what is Grimace, by the way? <laughs> He's a purple dot. Somebody yeah. said, I can't remember what comic said, that that's what your heart looks like after you eat McDonald's yeah, too much. that's cool. <laughs> and they named him Grimace because that's the, that's face, the you face you made right dude, before you have funny. a heart attack. That's good shit. I think that's Jasper Red that says that. Nice. That's I like funny. it. Okay, let's kick off some uh, NFL football. First thing I wanted to ask you guys, and I'm being dead fucking serious, is the NFC North the best division in the NFL? Sure. Sure. Right now. They, I know they have the top four in point differential. Uh-huh. All four of them, yeah. That's right. And the Bears. <laughs> three and they of have them. Caleb Williams. Yeah. Dude, it sucks, though, because I think that uh, three of them are going to make the playoffs. Maybe I think I think that three of them are going to make the playoffs. I think the one that's not is the Bears, and only because only because they're in that division. I think if the Bears are in any other division, they make the playoffs. Like they're going to beat the shit out of each other, kind of thing. Right there, then that's the, that's to. the disadvantage because they're because right. They got one of the best defenses Dude, in football. I do. They really do. Dude, I honestly, I I hundred percent wholeheartedly believe if the Bears were in a different division, they would make the playoffs. This I year. think they can that's make the crazy. playoffs still. I don't think they. I don't think so, man. Here's the thing. Uh, who do you they're think? They're better than Green Bay. We're better than Green Bay. I don't uh, I think disagree. so. I, I disagree. Don't think dude. So. I, I disagree. I think defensively, I think you guys definitely are. Yeah, but I don't think but you're better than Green Bay. But offensively, I don't think I don't think you can hang. Caleb threw for four touchdowns. It I, doesn't I matter. I get it, but you also who'd you play? 
He, but we beat the, the shit Jacksonville out of them. Jacksonville Jaguars. But we beat the shit out of them. And we didn't win. like Normally, we're winning that game 21-17 but or losing it. You played the the non-existent existent defense in the NFL in the Jaguars. But they're beating the shit out of these teams. But you also have an excellent defense, so you were able to stop them. And you did. You beat the shit out of them. They're hanging up points on them, too, I, though. I know. I they get normally it. I mean, if we're that. talking about... Just because you beat the shit out of a team that sucks, you're going to be fucking going no, to the playoffs. but normally those... The Detroit will definitely be going to the playoffs. I right. don't... But normally those teams, when we... I've fucking been a Bears fan my whole, almost my whole life. I, I Which is why you, you should just know that I, I, they're going to disappoint Those you. are the games we usually either lose or yeah, we play down to. What's, they're not doing it. What's the script say? I yeah, think the man. script is going to have us in the playoffs. Nope. Okay, okay. All right. They're going to have... And they're I, not good enough. Yeah, not no. in their division. We'll I, see. I'll tell you. I'll be honest with you. I'll be one hundred percent honest with you. I am. I am actually, as a Lions fan, I think the fucking Vikings look good. <laughs> well, I, I mean, think the Packers look really good. I heard that good. the yeah, Hawk Tua Yach is fucking the one that was banging Sam Darnold. That's her uh, boyfriend. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, I don't. I, fi- I don't even find her attractive, man. Well, well Sam Darnold on. does. Okay, whatever. Well, Sam Darnold looks pretty fucking good as a quarterback. I'd right fuck now. her. I, I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't, but I'm okay. married. You know what I'm saying? I just, yeah. you, no but sense. you can't say you don't find her attractive. She's I don't. definitely attractive. I, I like. I'm, and then when you find out, she'll fucking spit on it and fucking swallow yeah, it. Yeah, fucking uh, makes her even more attractive. Nah, it's all, I think she's like a, a high seven. Uh, I, I've got high standards though. You two don't. Which is so really? crazy, dude. You think I don't have high standards, bro? Okay, you may have high standards. Yeah, okay, you might. You should see the guys I fuck. <laughs> I'll show you some pictures. Nah, I'm good, man. I'm I'm totally fine, Derek. Uh, you want to see some? Pictures? <laughs> no, I'm good. I am good. Uh, but no, I I, I really yeah. do think the NFC North is the best division, at least right oh, now, for sure. in the NFL. It's not even a question. Um, I, we might as well go ahead and move on to that. And my evidence for saying that, and I loved every fucking second of it, Dude. except for. Aiden Hutchinson going down for yeah, the rest of the season. Hurts. I heard watching the TikTok. I saw it on TikTok. Uh, and I heard, is, is that right? You can actually hear it break on the play. Oh, I, I think you can hear it. Oh, I you, like it. I believe it, dude. I, I mean, it fucking yeah snapped. I I believe it. I went. Oh, in, God I went. Damn, dude. I went it into the painful, bathroom. Dude. I went in the, into the bathroom. Tried not to puke and then oh, started to cry. Bro, dude, I can't do that shit. Oh. I feel so terrible for him. Imagine, man. But with that being said, that ass whooping that they put on the fucking Dude, Dallas Cowboys was so fucking not fun. Not only that, but the the amount of fun they had while they were doing it was oh, amazing. Oh, that they it were was pl- so fun to watch. Dude, they were playing with their fucking food. It was most so of, awesome. Yeah, most of the time, blowout games like that, I don't care for. I don't really sure. like watching them. But, dude, that game from start to finish was fucking entertaining and it was. really good. It was really entertaining. Let me tell you how entertaining it was. Um, all of this occurred, uh, uh, the Detroit Lions at Dallas Cowboys. Um, they tried throwing a pass to an offensive tackle, and that was Taylor Decker, who last year um, said did not report, and that's why they yeah, lost right. the game. They ran a hook and ladder to uh, offensive tackle Panay Sewell. Uh, they let uh, they let offensive tackle Dan Skipper run routes as a wide receiver. God, they ran a flea flicker to Sam dude, Laporta that for was a like touchdown. A devil. Yeah, that flea flicker was sick, dude. They were having so and much fucking, fun. He, the way he fucking got into the end zone afterward, dude, that was a great play. It was an excellent play. And the best part about it was that was also the largest home loss for the Dallas Cowboys since Jerry Jones bought the team. And to put <laughs> the fucking icing on the cake, it was on Jerry Jones' yeah, birthday. That's awesome. Have that, Jerry Jones. And he was he was kind of pissy today on oh, the radio. Of course he was. A little bit. I guess he was kind of uh, he was kind of uh, mad about that. I heard the Eagles head coach was screaming at the fans in the fourth quarter. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I, I heard that too. Yeah, hey, go for it. I didn't watch that game. But yeah, I didn't either. I just heard that that's what happened. So Aiden's going to be out with a broken tibia and fibula, and they said anywhere from four to six weeks. So, dude, that's mm, crazy. It's nuts. That's no way. That's what they are. Forty. Sorry, forty-six weeks. I apologize. Forty-six months 
Four to six months. I was going to say, I my broke bad. my I'm, fucking ankle I and I was laid up for six and a half months. I was going to say, four There's to six no months. Way. And okay, I th- man. Me, personally, I think it's that more like... dude won't even be on the field in four weeks. No, I, I think it's going to be it's gonna be more oh. like six to eight months is what yeah, I think it's going to be. It's, so it's season. It's terrible. But I think this is an opportunity to trade for Max Crosby, which they could do, and that would kind of put us right back. Without yeah. an Aiden Hutchinson-type yeah. player, I don't dude, know if a, we win a Super Bowl. definitely no. No, I agree. We'll he go makes far. An we'll, we'll, I go, agree. we'll go far, but I we won't. Agree. We won't win the deal there for sure. Uh, then the next things I wanted to talk about were today. As of today, there were two huge trades in the NFL, and the first one I'm going to talk about is Amari Cooper to the Buffalo Bills. That's great for Amari Cooper. I honestly think that's the best thing for him. He has been miserable in Cleveland having a quarterback that targets the shit out of him. It feels like that dude's been in the league forever. Ever. He has. He has. He yeah. ha- it's just he still has it. He's shown he can be a number one. He was last year, but his quarterback sucks. It's just he's one of the worst right now uh, uh, numerically, at least statistically numerically. Did I just make that up? Yeah. (laughs) I mean, if yeah, if you look at numbers, but if you look at (laughs) fucking letters, yeah, the letters is where he's got a lot of got it all right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I think it's awesome because double letter right there. uh, That's power. uh, Absolutely. Um, But yeah, I I think I think he's got lots of SAs. Uh Jesus Christ. Like he's got a ton of letters. Uh, yeah, but but yeah, Deshaun Watson is is D-Y. terrible. How they still have him as a starting quarterback it absolutely blows my mind with how terribly he's doing. They got Jameis Winston just sitting on the bench. Put Dude. him the fuck in. Why not? Dude, I don't see this on here right now. What? I mean, it's probably not on there. The fucking Pittsburgh's going to start Russell next week. I saw that. <laughs> what? Come on, baby. What are you thinking? They're thinking, I want to win football Dude, aren't games. they like four and two? Uh, probably, yeah. Did they win last week? Uh, shit, I can't Dude, remember. Dude, why? Well, one thing is they have to give the Bears more if Field starts a certain amount of games. Oh, they, that's that, a, that, yeah. They beat the, the Raiders. Pick, the pick goes from a six to a it five. Dri- I just don't understand that. That that drives me crazy. And then the next one that's on here drives me even crazier. Okay, well that's what we're gonna get to because we're gonna let Derek go fucking ham all over this. Happy for you, Amari Cooper, and so is my fantasy team. That's gonna be great. Yeah, I think that was a good move. Yeah. Really good. Uh, but uh, the deal is finally done. After bitching and complaining so much in Las Vegas, Devontae Adams is finally being traded, and he gets to go to the New York Jets and hang out with Aaron Rodgers. Speaking of bitching and complaining, <laughs> that's all that guy does. Oh, come on. Man. I did watch the end of the game. I, uh, apparently, I heard in the press conference that he threw that guy under the bus for slipping. He did. But uh, he also underthrew that guy. He like, said he ran the wrong route. Is what he said. So he did that. He he, he should have ran slower. He could. <laughs> yeah, he Can could've. you believe that? He could have. Uh, he also did say that the that the referees were absolutely awful. Some of the penalties were terrible, including the roughing the passer on himself. He said was a terrible pass. So I kind of I give him a little bit of that. Um, but do you see this as being a huge pro or a huge con? Huge for the Jets. Huge con. Do you? Why would you waste more money? I that guy's got. They're a both huge gone. To pay the shit out of. They're him. both oh, yeah. gone after this year. No, Adams has like a three three years on his deal. Rogers doesn't is gone. mean doesn't mean that he doesn't mean that Devontae Adams at the end of the year isn't going to go. I don't want to fucking play football anymore. Uh, I think I think Derek's right with Rogers being gone. I think he goes oh, through the, the whole season he's and he's done. He's done. But what I really actually think and, who, who's going to get hurt the most out of this? Garrett Wilson. I think Garrett Wilson gets traded away. I think Devontae Adams uh, is fucked because he's back into the same situation. He's yeah. gonna have nobody at a quarterback Dude. next it's, year. It's legitimately the New York Packers. They it, got they got awful. Lazard. They've got he runs Adams. The team. Yeah. He I, runs his I, team. I know. He got his own coach fired. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It's they have fucking, never. Are you talking about Rodgers or are you talking Dude. about Devontae? No, Rodgers. Okay, I just making Dude, sure. They the have page. never done that. No. In their organization. His mid, his, his like, ass had to be like escorted out of the fucking building. Right? Like and that's What? That's fucking crazy. I did see that out of all of the previous coaches he has one of the worst or if not the worst record out of all of them. Oh yeah. But, well, as a brand new head coach typically, you're coming yeah, you're into gonna, a shitty situation yeah, because man. the other coaches got fired because the team And they sucks. think but here and they think just cuz you got Aaron Rodgers you should just 
automatically win, and that's not the way it works, man. But you got to build up the rest of your team. That too. dude is a fucking cancer. Oh. But both of them are. I think. I yeah, think Devontae. I don't is think too. Devontae Adams any better. Uh, right. I, I think in the locker room, uh, Rodgers is kind of an asshole. I don't mind him off the field, but that's a different situation. I hate him uh, everywhere. I, you hate him. They everywhere. just wasted two extra years worth of money with Devontae Adams. Pretty much. That's what they, they, they just made it their situation worse yeah, and worse, worse and worse because now they're not going to be um, able to pay it. To get, I don't know anything. They're, they're going to have to trade away Garrett Wilson, which really sure. sucks. Brees Hall is, is a stud. Brees, Garrett yeah. Wilson, I Brees believe, Hall is, a, is stud. a stud. It's just I don't. But the, the, yeah, yeah, they can't put it together. I agree with you. I think this is a con. They're not going to win the fucking Super Bowl because of this. I hate to say it. They're just they're not going to make the playoffs. Uh, they, they probably with the with the injuries in that division, they might. Mm. I'm not saying they're beating the Bills, but they're if they get if they get in the playoffs. second spot, all of the other divisions in they're that two and four. No right way, now. dude. Uh, I'm just. No Way. I'm saying it's actually a possibility. No, it's not. I'm just saying it's it, not, it is. Though. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is hot topics. That's the closest I'm going to get for this week. So I, I apologize. Uh, but now we get to move Derek on to, to try again. No <laughs> hot topics. That was the best one yet. That was a good one. All right. Well, let's move on to never have I ever. Uh, we've got a lot of people that got more than more than one. A couple people even more than two. Uh, but thank you guys for participating. I do look through every single one of those. And if you're ever trying to write like a, a suggestion, my best advice for you is to give us something that these guys can go off on tangents because that's the that's how or this, send me a nude selfie or that and I'll make sure I pick your question. Yeah, if you if you give us a question or a suggestion that is an easy one answer one word answer, that's probably not going to get it in there. Uh, but anyways, let's kick this off from William Payne. He wants to know, never have I ever took a peek at someone. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Let me get through it. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever took a peek at someone at the urinal next to me. And we know what kind of peak you're talking about. Well, we know JP. If by peak you mean putting their <laughs> cock in my throat, then yes. <laughs> I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Dude. That's uh, the only. That's the best part about being gay. <laughs> that's so terrible. Uh, I'm never going to the bathroom. Uh, you've definitely done it. No, never. Come on. Absolutely not. I, I get that. I, I have the thing that you're supposed to do, which is. Stare straight ahead stare, like some kind of tard. Yep. Stare, stare straight ahead as if like you just find a little place that you focus on on the yeah, tile or whatever dude. and, and yeah. just do your deal. And then, yeah. And I put my hands in my pockets, too. I bet, I bet you do. <laughs> I do. Good. That means you won't be able to run away from me. <laughs> <laughs> he pees like this. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't hold it at all. No. Meanwhile, like JP pees like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I have never done this. Derek? No. Oh, oh, see? Come no. Come on. But the fucking bathroom at West Acres is fucking crazy. Yeah. Because uh, when you get done pissing and you go to wash your hands at the sink, you can see the urinal, the mirror, the giant mirror is just it's facing the same the way urinal. at North Rock. Dude. <laughs> oh, really? It's the I'm same like, way at fucking fuck? North Rock. Dude. Yeah, it's, it's the same way at North like, Rock. Did you not figure out the design? I like, love it. Uh, I spend most of my time in there. I'm sure you do. I'm like it, head down. Yeah, it JP. <laughs> JP's not even on the urinal side. He's on the toilet dude, side, <laughs> sniffing through cracks. This, ha <laughs> this just, actually happened at Seneca last year. He just cleans the mirror. That's all he does. I was walking, I, I was going to the bathroom, and there was another guy in the league going to the bathroom at the same time, and I know that's where he was going, like he was fucking headed right for it, but he saw me going there, and he just like turned around and walked back. <laughs> oh my Wait, God. He didn't go in. <laughs> he was scared of you, JP. I don't blame him. He yeah. shouldn't have been. This person should not have been. Okay. But, uh, well, you never know. Was no, it the next socks guy? No, no. <laughs> No. V-neck socks guy. I, would, I couldn't have went in there with him anyway. Nobody else is getting in that restaurant. Oh, Jesus. All right. Next one comes in from Tom McDonald. He wants to know, never have I ever pooped in my hand and threw it into the toilet? Once. Well, okay. All right. All right. I called. But no. No, dude. I was in the shower. <laughs> and fucking all of a sudden. I was oh. sick. I was sick. I was very sick. But uh, yeah, you are I, sick. Yeah, dude. What else are you gonna do? Uh, I don't know. You just, I, waffle, I had waffle to waffle stomp, stomp that stomp. shit. No, that's fucking not okay, man. What? 
it, but it's okay to legitimately turn around. Like, That's exactly what I like, did. Cup it. That's into exactly your hand. what I did. That is absolutely. Stupid. That's crazy that he would ask that question, and even crazier that my answer is yes. <laughs> like I don't answer no to these very often, but that should have been one I answered no to. Uh, but just, no, man, it, that happened once. I'm gonna go out on a limb, Derek, and say no. Uh, no, uh, yeah, no. Okay. I don't. Right. I don't have a tangent to go off on. <laughs> just n- no. No. Absolutely. I'm right next to the toilet. Yeah, no shit. You could have gotten Dude, off the toilet. No. And I'm not going to carry it if I'm a distance away. <laughs> I'm not like, oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't like I'm I not... fucking carried it around, dude. The toilet's right there. Well, no, fucking... but I'm saying this doesn't say if you're in the shower. This just uh, says in general. I'm not. Well, in general, I've never done it. No. But you have. I uh, numerically speaking, I have never done that. <laughs> Literally speaking, once. Literally once, absolutely. Okay. All right. Next one comes in. From I have shit in a urinal. He, I have yet, done that. You have done that. I'm I, not proud of it as an adult, but as a 14 year old, it was hilarious. <laughs> I've never done that. Have you done that, JP? No. Okay. That's a that's a good win for Derek. Uh, next one comes. Gotcha, in. bitch. <laughs> Put my face in it once. Oh God. No, I'm kidding. Okay. All right. Uh, did he say like fuck? No, I'm not. Uh, Will Great hit. next one? Yeah, next one comes in from Will Gonzalez. He wants to know: Never have I ever decided to take a shower instead of wiping after taking a dump. Does I guess that qualifies? <laughs> I mean, I have to. I guess I have to answer yes to this one too. Yeah, uh, but no. Have you ever taken a shit and be like, I- I'm sh- I'm shit shower and shave, guys? No. <laughs> no, I've, I've used a bidet. Okay, well that's a that's a but miniature I've shower. Never, yeah, but I've never I've just never took a shit. And be like, yeah, you know what? I'm good. Yeah, that's just, a, no. That's a sphincter shower. That, uh-uh. that counts. Yeah, I can't. No, I've never no. done this. I, I I always wipe every fucking. I don't care if I'm getting directly into the right. shower. You still wipe. You still wipe every time. Yeah. Uh, some people. Some people. Mm. I guarantee you, if Mike Mike was here, he he yeah. he does this probably on a regular basis. Probably not wrong. Okay, uh, for what it's worth, the next three are Nolo Cinco. So good on you there, Bubba. We got two more. Never I have I ever. He knows Deshaun Watson. He might. <laughs> we will. Uh, we will see. Uh, but the next one is never have I ever gone to a high school cheerleader car wash. Nope. Mm-hmm. When, the wrestling one once. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. But not the cheerleader. One. Okay. Uh, they had yell leader. Carl. No, not <laughs> not back in my day. They didn't. <laughs> just throwing it out there. Not no. Okay. That that wasn't a thing back when I was in now school. Now they just call them drag shows. Right. Um. But yeah, when I was in high school, of course I did. Yeah. Yeah. When I was in high school, and they and the girls were going to be washing cars. Fuck yeah. yeah. Good for you, man. After the age of eighteen, no, I have never done that. I have never done that. Derek. That's all I go to now. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, God damn, my car's getting dirty. I wonder if these bitches need to raise money for uniforms. <laughs> That's the only ones I go to. That's good good for you. Uh-huh. Buddy. And I'm straight ahead, though. <laughs> straight, yeah, ahead. straight ahead. Find a point. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, next one again from Nolo Cinco. He wants to know, never have I ever had to dress for all four seasons in one day. Uh, yes. We live in fucking Kansas. Because okay? what you have to do is you're only allowed to go through the line at the high school girl car wash once. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I have to go home and change, change my with. clothes. Oh. And then I can drive back through the car wash. 100%. Yeah. Otherwise, they think you're weird. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, this guy's car's already really clean. <laughs> no, you got to drive through an alley. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Down a dirt road mm-hmm. first. Uh, but no, we live in Kansas. Uh, absolutely, this this shit happens. I think this week, like right now, or the, over the weekend, we hit a, like a high for a day. We hit like ninety four, and it was the hottest it's been this late in the year. And then, uh, as of the day that this podcast episode Dude. releases, it's going to possibly fucking freeze. It's cold as fuck out there right now. It's perfect. This is perfect. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's good shit. So, yeah. And in a day, though, I think there was. I think there was a day that we woke up, and it was, like, probably 80, 80-ish. And then by the end of the day, it was fucking, like, 20. Yeah, you know, it's or crazy. it's snowing. So, absolutely, I've done this. JP? Yeah, man. For the same reasons. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is never have I ever. Now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode. This is the that's where I draw the line. Yeah. Uh, and again, Mr. Nolo Cinco, he just fucking killed it this week. He wants to know what things do you do when you realize you are really poor? JP hit that on his week, week recap. <laughs> yeah. 
I sure did. Did you eat anything good when you asked me that? Uh, um, I don't know if ramen noodles and macaroni and cheese counts, but that's yeah, what I eat now. Yeah. Dude, I'm so poor. Like, I saw a Taco Bell How commercial. How poor are you? Yeah. I saw a Taco Bell commercial for, like, a $7 craving box. Uh-huh. And I was like, God, I wish I had $7. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I, I've, I've got one, and I did it all the fucking time. Whenever I was little, and I uh, obviously didn't have any money to go and buy shit, so I would actually take two, like, tortillas and put cheese on it, and that was lunch. That was oh, a yeah, fucking... We did that I a lot. That. I still Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. that's not that... Like Crazy. no meat, just fucking yeah. cheese. Right, yeah. Okay. Who I thought I was. The, I thought I was the only one that did that no, shit. No, definitely not. Peanut yeah. butter and jelly <clears throat> sandwiches. I ate two of those today as like, well. Like a motherfucker. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then I ran out of bread. Oh fuck! What do you? you what's Scotty's all- like? I I only play golf like three times a week when I'm <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. No. Only snowboard twice a year. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And get and only get Jack Daniels. That's <laughs> that's yeah. the deal. Yeah. Uh, but no. Any anybody else? Derek. Uh, hunger naps. <laughs> Hunger naps. When oh, you, I've done that. Yeah, when you get hungry, but you don't have any food, so you just go to sleep, oh, so you're not hungry anymore. Shit. Damn. That's that's rough. Uh, I've also that's gambled rough. money I didn't have. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> you do that on the daily basis, yeah. dude. I do that. I, I bought that. a bowling ball two weeks ago. No? Why? I don't know. I, know. I got plenty. There oh, was a day Jesus. I got asked to play poker with like one of my bosses, and I couldn't afford to pay rent. And I was like, he's like, it's a fifty dollar buy in. I'm like, well, I've only got eighty, and I can't pay rent either way, so, so fuck it. Maybe. And I won rent. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Nice job. And now you are a gambler. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And now, yeah. That's how it starts. Uh, next one comes in from William Payne again. He wants to know what is the maximum number of apps you should have on your phone. I don't know, but I got too goddamn many, and, <laughs> and it's awful because I've I'm a hoarder. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, 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 like, I'm like, ah, I can't get rid of this app to pay for the subway that I used in San Francisco two years ago because I might go back one day <laughs> oh and there's God. $2 on it. No. Like, that's no. what I've got. It's awful. No. I still it's not because you will not want to get rid of the app. It's because of the $2. I still have meme generator. I haven't made a meme in five years, <laughs> but I won't get Because what if I really want to make a meme one day? I don't Absolutely. Re- I don't want to re-download it. Oh, for sure. You definitely don't want to re-download it. Oh, it's horrible, dude. So there is there is a number. I just don't know what it is. I got it. I know what it is. What? It's two pages. Two oh, pages. Oh, God, I wish I had two pages. Yeah, two pages. And, and I mean, like, you have your oh. home screen that has, and you can put them in little, like, little, little fucking folders or whatever you want to call them. Uh huh. But if you have, if you swipe to the, uh, what is that? Technically, swipe left or whatever. I have six pages. Jesus Christ, you have, Eric. You have more than that. Jesus. That's if you don't include the folders. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking stupid, dude. I, I legitimately have two pages of apps. One. That's two. It. Three, four, five. Oh six, my God! Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Yeah, uh, most of them are for oh. gay porn. Oh, oh, okay. That's not good. That's really not. No, good. No, that's not true. Only a couple. Okay, that's but fine. I do have nine pages worth of shit. So, what do you think is the maximum that you should have? I think that if you can have whatever the fuck you want, man, mm-hmm. that's, it doesn't. There's no max. That's you have a problem. Not but maybe. Yeah, deleting Dude, shit. I you won't even see my photo albums. I won't even throw away fucking shoe boxes. Which I like, I buy these fucking Jordans and shit, and then I just keep the. I got boxes stacked. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Because what? you had some outmoded piece of equipment last week. Nordic track? No, no. Uh, from fucking uh, the cell phone. Oh yeah, that you still have the original box for, dude. I know. I wasn't gonna give him shit. So I was you gonna don't say, throw I, away shit. I understand the boxes. Yeah, the okay. boxes I get. Yeah. The the shit that I don't use anymore, they're gone. Yeah. And in fact, I, I'm so good to the point where I will not only keep the boxes, but I will throw away the pair of shoes that are worn out in the box that I got of him. Nice. And that I, it just goes all, all at the same way. time. Even when we get shit from Amazon, I'm like, oh, I got to keep that box. Yeah. I might That's fucking, a good box. That could be a good Christmas That's box. A good box. Or I. Uh, I you know what? I could ship something in that box, but I don't fucking sell anything because I keep everything. <laughs> Whenever I get bought good boxes, I think, wow, man, that could be a nice chimney stack for the fucking house I'm building in the alley because I can't afford my rent. Right. <laughs> JP builds adult forts. Oh, shit. Uh, all right. Uh, next one comes in from Chris 
Tenerella. He wants to know how many yards away from every hole do you get to start from and win the Masters? Let me read that back. How many yards away from the hole would you be able to start every hole from and win the Masters? So, like, if I'm ten feet out, I think I'll be okay. Yeah. But if I'm, I'm talking on the fringe. You're fucked. No, my short even game if they're sucks. starting from the fucking yeah. tee box. Yeah, even if they're starting from the tee box. Oh, uh, I would. I, I give me my putter. I may be able to win. But if you've ever played or ever seen them play on the Masters and just drop the ball in the center of the green, it's that crazy, bitch dude. is rolling the fuck off of there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying ten feet. Yeah, and I'm getting I would, beat. I would think five for me. <laughs> Tap in. Yeah, I need a tap in. <laughs> What's the Masters? <laughs> the Masters is a golf tournament. There. Oh, I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm, but if I'm, you win, you get millions of dollars. I'm still not playing. You're still not playing? No, that means I have to golf. Uh, well. I, I just, I can't. I have to swallow my pride and be like, yeah, I guess I'm a golfer now. I can't do some, it. You just need some goofy pants. You got and the other part. Ass. That's I right. Got, yeah, I get it. I Actually, I have no ass. <laughs> I inherited that from my father. That after sucks. after bowling with you last night, I can concur yeah. that that's not a th- that's not true because it was hanging out all night long. <laughs> because well, you should have told me his well, pants doesn't I have like anything to grab onto. Oh, speaking of which, man, you want to bowl next week? I can't. Okay. He's out of town. He's in, he's on vacation. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know. Did, he didn't know. He, we told I do him. need a new belt though. <laughs> All I right. finally uh, lost enough to where this one is not going to work. Which is anymore. awesome. Man. That's good for you. Just get oh, yeah. the just Fuck get yeah. the golf belts. They just they. You just I'm can't. not <laughs> golfing. You <laughs> fucking asshole. I tried. And you're like go golf, and then maybe you can go suck JP's dick. And then you can, like, <laughs> Life will never be the same. <laughs> Next one comes in. Jay, JP be like, I'm straight now. <laughs> Turns out <laughs> I Turns love out, puss. I love pussy. <laughs> yeah. God, God, that's all it took. Oh, Lord. All right. Caden Lothrop, he wants to know, what should the temperature be in your house? There's, qu- there's okay, there's the temperature in the winter. Of course. And Correct. the temperature in the summer. Yes. Correct. Okay. Just yes. making sure we're on the same page. Yeah, there's two temps. There yeah. is, there's two temps. And there's temperatures when I'm home and temperatures when I'm gone. Oh, well. I do that, too. I have I dogs, so I don't do that. I don't yeah. torture Well, them. my dog pissed me off, so I'm, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I was going to turn the heat on for a minute today because Katie left the windows open all night last night. And so it was like 50 degrees in the fucking house this morning. Poor Rigby. And I was like, you know what? She shit on the floor the other day. Oh. She'll be all right. Oh, you're like, mean. Poor dog. She's got dementia. It's okay. She uh, doesn't know what day it is. That's all right. <laughs> As if she knew what day it was before. Numerically, she does. Oh, numerically. Numerically, numerically she does. Alphabetically, yeah. not so not much. Not so much. Yeah. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, I think in the summer, it's 72. In the winter, it's uh, 70. Oh, boy. Oh, no. No? No. That's no. that's fucking fuck you money. Right here. <laughs> oh, oh well, you're really not going to like my answer then. Maybe 74. Maybe 74 in the winter. Oh, sorry. Uh, in the summer. and then Oh, my God. Yeah, and then 72. 67 in the, in the summer. Oh, holy shit. In the summer? You cranking that AC the fuck up? Fuck yeah. Oh, oh wow. God. 67 in the summer. Uh-huh. Sorry. And 73 in the winter. Oh, boy. I think I could I could live there, but I don't want to pay the air conditioning bill. Oh, God. There's five of us paying. Oh, okay, let's split, that split that shit down the middle. Yeah, well, I'm rich, dude. I just told you I couldn't afford a seven dollar fucking <laughs> meal at Taco Bell, but I'm rich. Well, maybe if you fucking kept your air conditioning, a little better, <laughs> you, might, you might be able to get two of them motherfuckers. I live like I'm rich and stop buying yeah. fucking bowling balls yeah. every couple of weeks. Dork. God damn. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Derek? <laughs> 76 in the summer. Oh, oh my Jesus God. Jesus Christ. And 64 in the winter. Dude, oh hold on. God. And here's how I know he's not lying because when I stayed at his house, I'm like, how do you fucking make this thing go <laughs> back? And it would, every time I set it higher or lower, within fucking 10 minutes, it was back to where it was fucking set and it was pissing me <laughs> off. <laughs> God dang it. Oh yeah, no! I, I don't fuck around. This is apparently th- not. This dude. is how Derek saves for stuff. You yeah, fucking sit down and in the he, basement and it's it, cooler down there. That's true. <laughs> if it's a little cold, then cover yourself up. Get a blanket. Yeah, fucking right. I know. I get it. Yeah. All right. 
And last one comes in for from Taylor Morosky. She wants to know how late is too late to cancel plans with someone. Hey, actually, I'm not going to make the show. Tonight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I don't think that. Yeah. I mean, it depends on who the someone is. Well, it depends on what the plans are too. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense too. Like a fucking child's birthday party. I, I think that's up until the last fucking second. Cheerleader car wash. Cheerleader, Cheerleader car, car wash. Car wash. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Uh, but if it's like if it's like my closest friends and stuff like that, uh, if it's if it's less than twenty four hours, I feel like a fucking dick. Me too, but it's also easier because they know that if I'm fucking really calling last minute to cancel, it's serious. It's it serious. Was, you yeah, know, something I wouldn't happened. Cancel. Yeah. But. Yeah. Um, how about you, Derek? You got a you got a formula for this? Yeah, I'd say probably about four hours four hours that yeah sounds about I, right i would say that that would do especially depends on what you're doing like when i'm trying to get a fucking poker game together going i i invite 15 and hope for seven yeah even if i get 15 yeses i'm like i hope i can get seven i never commit though i never commit to that's worse to me when you're like that's nah. that's what i was gonna say about scotty that dude will just say no right away yeah He'll be like no no not doing it yeah, yeah, I, will I would that. rather do yeah. that. I'd rather have that than go, right. oh, maybe yeah. I'll let you know. And then yeah. it's like, hey, uh, it's well, we're starting in two hours. Like, are, are you playing or not? Because now I got 10. I need to know if I need to set another table out. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's kind of like me trying to see if somebody's going to be on the show like the day of like, hey, you're going to be able to make it right. Fuck it. <laughs> <Just> fuck it. <laughs> that ain't me. No, actually, it is it not ain't me either. It, it's it's not him. I'm here two days early. It's not him. I'll give you a guess. I'm guessing it's Steve Peters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good guess. Dude, you never know that Steve's coming until yeah. he shows up. That's yeah. right. Yeah, that is right. <clears throat> but that's anyways. got more fucking. That dude's got more flakes than fucking Tony the Tiger with dandruff, <laughs> bro. That. <laughs> but I love the guy. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's great. Yeah. He's fantastic. Right. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is that's Just don't where make plans with him. That's like, yeah. <laughs> That's what that, that's what, where I drew the line for this week. The open sign on his bar should just be a dude shrugging his shoulders like, oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> are you open? Huh? Maybe. Uh, possibly. Now nah, they're pretty consistent. Yeah, they are. Uh, now we get to move on to questions. Because of Natalie. <laughs> yeah, true. It's not that's, of Steve. It's true. totally because that of is Natalie. True. Yeah. <sighs> uh, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Again, thank you guys very much. Uh, always be on the lookout Monday, Friday, every Friday. I try to post as early as possible. If you have any suggestions for the episode, put them in there. If we like your suggestion, we'll give you a shout out on the show. And if not, that sucks. We just wasted your time. Uh, but the first one, uh, comes in not from a fan. This is just one that I found, uh, but I really like it. Uh, what would be a strange service animal? Turtle. Yeah, it'd suck. <laughs> that, yeah. that would fucking suck. Or giraffe. <laughs> I was torn between those two. Yeah, that would. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Um, I, I just immediately thought of, I don't know, a fucking grizzly bear. No, that'd be a great one. Fuck that. No, this is my service grizzly bear. Try to Fuck get yeah. that motherfucker on a plane. No, no, yeah. no. My fucking pet cobra. Cobra would be a weird one. Yeah. Fuck that shit. How about you, Derek? Murder hornet. <laughs> murder, murder hornet. hornet. <laughs> yeah. Got that bitch with a leash. Uh-huh. Oh, for sure. I used to have an uncle that had a bumblebee on a fucking string. Are you serious? And that was his pet. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, we're white trash as fuck. Man. <laughs> Dude. You didn't know? I got an Austin 316 shirt on. We're white trash as fuck. <laughs> yeah. True. An iguana. Uh, That'd be a weird one. I've seen that. That actually is a yeah. real thing. I'm now starting to see like real ones that are starting that are like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. It's a people were walking didn't somebody lizards. have a peacock. One yes. That's that? what yeah. I was going to say. It was a ther peacock, therapy yeah. parrot or some shit like that. Are you, are you a peacock fuck? is a little different than a parrot. Yeah. yeah it's a, a lot it's, different it's a fucking bird. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, this is ridiculous. Birds aren't even real. Right. <laughs> JP. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, Wyatt Carmichael wants to know what sport has the ugliest wives of the athletes? The WNBA. I was going to say softball. So we're on the same <laughs> situation. <laughs> the WNBA. 100%. <laughs> yep. A little bit, a little bit uglier in that side. How about you, JP? LPGA. Oh, <laughs> uh, we all got a clean sweep on that one. There we go. Okay, uh, next one comes in from Nathan Blackwell. He wants to know if you were if you were in a horror movie, what? If oh, I'm sorry. If you were a horror movie character, what would be your weapon of choice? Hmm. 
Like yeah. out of the current horror movie weapons or? Yeah, just like. Or just so, in general. Yeah, like your creative ones if you wanted to. Hmm. Nothing? Well, you somebody fucking answer? What do I got to go first? <laughs> I would use my trophy. You would use your trophy? Yeah. I, I want to use the, the 1990s jump ropes and just dual wield yeah, those sons of bitches. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking be swimming. The plastic ones? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, the ones that had the plastic beads. beads. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get fucked. Those things hurt. Yeah. How about you, Derek? Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know. Maybe like a, a bat with a ninja sword taped to it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> just didn't, duct didn't tape it right on Yeah, that? didn't we talk about that one episode? It's like a sickle. <laughs> I, I can't remember. I remember the the half ass killer, but I don't know if that. That's was where part. you gotta like run to the knife. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't want anything too heavy. Yeah, you know yeah. you can, you gotta be strategic. Oh, for sure. Like that chainsaw guy. That's fun and that's all fun. But I mean, after that's more just after scary. a little while, that's gonna that's yeah, gonna you're, that's you're, gonna be a little heavy. You gotta be in shape. And yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know if you can tell this or not, but. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I would do the electric carving knife. That'd be a good one. Oh, God. That's 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 going to hurt. Actually, I know what mine would be. What you got? COVID. COVID. <laughs> Just <laughs> spray it around. Yeah. Ah. That is what I would. Because you really ain't got to do shit for that. Ah. Ooh. I, uh, a really fucking hot sauce. Or like a little nitro. Like that is how you fucking do it. Just like put it in their fucking mouth and make them chew it up. That kills them. And that kills them? Uh huh. Okay. That'd, that'd be it. I think it'd work. Very well. All right. Uh, next one comes in. I from, love the things that he gets excited about. Hey, yeah. I, it, it just, I saw it. I, it was on the yeah, desk. Yeah, cool. Uh, next one comes in from Taylor Morosky. She wants to know things to say to an umpire that would definitely get you ejected from the game. I uh, pretty much anything I was working gonna, in baseball. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! If you show a close replay on the board, mm -hmm. they get pissed. Mm -hmm. They do not want to be criticized at all. I saw a guy that I know that our coach went up to a home plate umpire one game after a horribly called game the day before mm -hmm. uh, during the mound meeting and said, uh, "Did you guys uh, watch the tape from yesterday?" <laughs> and they were like, "Nope, no need to." Really? You guys don't like watch to see, you know, what you get fucked, better? Uh, yeah. Like, I mean, my guys watch film to get better all the time. Don't you guys want to do it? <laughs> Gone. Out of there. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. That's, yeah. That's good shit. But yeah, I, I, uh, I think pretty much anything at this point, if they get offended, they're just going to fucking boot you. I like to say, I seen better eyes on a potato. Oh, God. That's what I like to yell. Uh, I, I yelled at work once uh, that, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, <laughs> Helen Keller communicates better than you, and she's dead. <laughs> like that's... Fuck, yeah. Uh, another thing I yelled at work once is you got all the best parts of Rain Man, or all the worst <laughs> parts of Rain Man. You're shitty at math, and you're fucking retarded. <laughs> I yelled that once, too. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I love it. All right. Uh, next one comes in from Marsha Bentley. She wants to know, what sport would you get rid of if you could? Golf. I knew it was coming. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely golf. <laughs> Fucking love golf. I don't. Well, I guess that's a. You're saying sport. Yeah, because that's a that's a sport. I'd call that a sport. Oh, for sure. It it's a, it's golf? a game. It's yeah. a sport. It's a game. It's a if sport. you're if you're 70 and can still do it, it's a game. Ah. Uh, it's a fucking sport. I don't know. Do it well. It's a sport. It's a sport. <sighs> It's a sport. You can tell because it comes on NBC Sports. Yeah, that's true. That doesn't mean anything. It does. I was going to say NASCAR, but that ain't a fucking that's a sport. sport. No, it if ain't. If golf's a sport, NASCAR Mario Kart's a sport. not a sport. <laughs> NASCAR's a sport. <laughs> nope. NASCAR ain't a sport. It is. It's a fucking race. That's a totally okay. different thing. And Scotty hates race. <laughs> that's true. Just one in particular. Oh, no! what? <laughs> God, you guys are killing me here. That's why he hates NASCAR. Oh, Lord have Scotty. mercy. Uh, Scotty. I actually have a real answer Scottler. to this. Scotler. Yeah, I actually have... <laughs> shit, fuck you. <laughs> guys suck. Uh, I actually have a real answer to this. I've been saying this for, for years. I love... I love that there is like baseball for kids. That's awesome. That's great. But the Little League World Series can go fuck itself. Yeah. I'm so sick and tired of that shit. Get it the fuck out. It's not. I'm done with it. Now, have you been it's to the terrible. car washes? It's fucking amazing. <laughs> no, no, I haven't. I have not been to the car washes for that shit. I go, but I got to hand out letters. They've got <laughs> they got six and seven. You can hand out numbers now. Oh, good. Yeah. God. They've got six and seven year olds out there fucking throwing curveballs and ruining their arms. Yeah. That It's just, no, stop it. Quit it. So that's mine. Uh, how about you guys? Uh, you, Derek said golf. How yeah, about you, JP? Softball? I was just going to say fucking 
women's basketball. Okay, I, I'll go with it's you on that. Really, it's bad. Really horrible. But but if Caitlin Clark is playing, then it's dude. It's not bad to watch. No, I agree. It's not but, bad. Yeah. But yeah, I get it. It'll evolve. <laughs> It'll get better. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, it's only had twenty years. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's got at some point in time, it's got to come around. It right? might actually be profitable this yeah. year. You never know. Uh, Those last chicks make tens of dollars. <laughs> they do. Or fishing is fishing a sport? No, no, because <laughs> it's on the Sports Channel too. Right? Yeah, yeah. I've seen it on the Sports Channel. <laughs> Derek's, Derek's no, just fucking caught me. Just now. I knew you'd freak out. God damn it! <laughs> I was like, what can I say that'll piss Derek off? <laughs> oh, fishing is that a sport? <laughs> You motherfucker. Oh, my God. Oh, he's pissed. That's, uh, that's fucking great. Fuck you, JP. <laughs> <laughs> what, if it's, what, if, what if it's like deep sea fishing? Yeah, what if it's ice fishing? Yeah, that's... Ice fishing is a sport. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they got bobsleds. You sleds. gotta drill the hole. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> for shit. real. <laughs> okay, sorry. Last one comes in from Braxton Lent. He wants to know, things you should never reuse. Well, we know the obvious answer. Tampons. <laughs> oh, God. That's disgusting. Is that the obvious one? Oh, well, condoms, I figured, was yeah, going to be the Oh, I reuse those all the time. Oh, my God. You just God. flip them inside out and go again. Oh, oh. <laughs> Everybody wanted to figure out how monkeypox oh. got spread. Oh, Lord have mercy. Diapers, I would go with. Yeah, I was going to say. People do that. Yeah. Mm. Toilet paper. Toilet paper was yeah. the one I was going to go Did with. Did you ever watch that show Extreme Cheapskate? Uh, I, I, I've seen not a whole episode, but I've definitely seen highlights. I've seen some where like, they'll take the two-ply toilet paper and, and they'll and separate it. it. Yeah. And, and, and then the there was one where it was like these people had had like, towels... And that was that you wiped your ass and then you put it in the basket next to the fucking toilet and then they would go wash the towels and then you would then fold them and put them right back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> uh-uh. Yeah. I think that might be when I would shit in my hand and throw it in the toilet. <laughs> Uh-oh. What do you got? That's not saving any money. That's just <laughs> gross. <laughs> If you add up the laundry detergent and the water that you're using to wash them. Especially you're going to have to wash them more than once. Well, that's what I'm saying. What are they just? Seven days. Every seven days. That's when we'll change out the shit cloth bucket. Like that after three days Dude, is going to start you. stinking. And you see it and it's like this like pink rag and then oh, there's just a, no. a brown stain. Oh, no. Like, yeah. What what if your you underwear what if you gets had skin wad? marks. What if you got a whole wad of shit? Like, oh, yeah. God. Dude, what if you had some kind of accident or something and you went into the restroom in a hurry, you're the bloody nose, and you're like looking around. You open <laughs> up the basket and you're like, oh, there's the towels. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you got a skid mark on your forehead. You're like, God, I got this thing in my eye. Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> then you end up with pink, pink eye, eye the next yeah. day. Yeah. Full oh. double barrel. Oh, that's so terrible. Oh. That's awful. Yeah, yeah man, there's some fucking crazy shit. Oh, Lord have mercy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that great is, fucking question, that is a great went. fucking question, Braxton. There's um, more shit that you should know. Oh, there, there's plenty of stuff. There definitely is. Like Mike Baldwin's toenail clippers. Don't ever, ever <laughs> reuse those sons of bitches. They must be strong as fuck, though. <laughs> they must be. A Saturn Ion. Yeah. Don't, don't reuse, don't reuse that. that. Let it go. <laughs> Chrysler PT Cruiser. Chrysler PT Cruiser. Yeah. Yeah. That is, needs to stay a used car and just crush it. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's questions and preguntas. Again, thank you very much for participating in Monday, Friday. You guys are the best. Um, all of you guys who participated, you guys are awesome. Okay, but now we can move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, JP1. Yeah, you gotta give him. You gotta give him the music if he actually wins a draft. So that's uh, that's your prize. That's that's what your prize is for winning that draft. Um, so yeah, JP won last week's draft. So that means he is going to get the championship picks for this week. Uh, I came in. I'm pretty sure dead last, and so uh, because Derek was not here, he gets the first overall pick, and I get the uh, the sandwich picks, which is uh, pretty much where I'm always at, anyways. 
Right, JP? Mm-hmm. Yep, thanks. Okay, uh, this week's draft is going to be one. I think we've kind of done something like this in the past, but I don't think exactly like this. So uh, I'm really excited for it. We are going to do the best mascots. I'm talking dude in a suit, best mascots of all time. Uh, Sports mascots. Uh, Did I clarify that? No. Okay, can I clarify that or should I not clarify that? I had some other shit. I know you did. (laughs) And it was a band, I'm guessing. Uh, Maybe. (laughs) All right. Do you want me to take that off or keep Let's that? Let's do best mascot. Okay. We guess period we mascot. We are doing best period mask. I mean, best mascot. Yeah, period mascots. <laughs> it's, it's Terry the Tampon. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, but no, we're going to do the best mascots of all time. Dude in a suit. That's the requirement. All right. Uh, so, Derek, you were going to get the first overall pick. What uh, what member of the band are you going to be? I'm actually going with the Burger King King. Okay. All right. That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> Burger King King? Yeah. All right. That thing is creepy as fuck. <laughs> it is creepy as fuck. I want to fucking, like, role play with that. You should. <laughs> you should. Bedroom. You definitely Just show should. show up in that. Not say anything the whole time. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to go with kind of a obscure one, uh, but I think it's utterly ridiculous. I don't even know what the name of him is, but the Stanford tree, you know yeah. what I'm talking about? Nope. Mm. Uh, the Stanford's, uh, mascot the is the Cardinal. <laughs> yeah. It's a Cardinal. It's a fucking yeah. Cardinal, which is yeah. a tree. Yeah. And so they have a guy dressed a Cardinal's up. a bird. No, it's an actual tree. It's a tree. I'm dead serious. It's a tree, too? It, yeah, it's a tree. So it's a bird yeah. and a tree. Yeah. And a shitty baseball player. <laughs> yeah, it's a tree. And that's what he is. He's just dressing up. He's got a face, like a fucking two eyes, and it's a fucking Christmas tree just All running right. around. Okay. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, JP, what are your first two? Uh, gritty. Gritty is a nice. great one. Love yeah, me some Gritty. I love Gritty, too. And the Seattle Supersonic Sasquatch. Damn it. Oh, that's a good one. Damn. All right. Oh, we're actually doing real ones now. Okay. Fuck. I thought I was doing. I was doing. You fun. said best. Ah, uh, you're right. I had a bunch of worst ones. You are right. Out All right. I'm gonna do the Homer pick because I think it's actually a pretty cool fucking uh, mascot. But I'm gonna go with Woo Shock. Uh, big angry fucking clump of wheat, and he comes and and chases after your children. Yeah. Scares the shit out of him of basketball games too. It's great. Uh, Derek, you get two in a row. Well, I got to give it up for my boy. He just had a birthday recently. Grimace. Grimace. Ooh. Grimace is a good one. <laughs> yep. It my is. fat ass picking food. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Okay. And then what do you got? Can I pick the Taco Bell dog? No. No. Man in a not, suit. Yeah. We did say man in we a suit. Said ah, we said man, man in a suit. Man, there. So there goes my Six Flags guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> can I pick? Can I take no, the six flags? You no, you take the six <laughs> flags. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Oh my god. No? no. No. Oh, you guys are dicks. I know. Oh boy. Let's <sighs> go with the Phoenix Suns gorilla. Uh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Uh, I'm fucking I'm, let me not have the six flags. I'm gonna go with the uh, the chicken. The uh, San Diego oh, yeah, chicken, man. Yeah. The was he for the Phillies for a while? No. He was a San Diego chicken. San Diego chicken. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Always. I, he would come to like like minor league baseball games for us yeah. and fuck around. It was great. Yeah. It was awesome. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Uh, JP, you get two in a row. Uh, the Philly fan at Fanatic. Damn it. I was going to come uh, back to that. Love that guy. I, I know. I was going to come back and, to that. And uh, Green Man. Green Man? Who's that? If you know, you know. All right. I don't know. You got to explain You don't it watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? No. Uh, oh, is it from it's, that it's show? It's from that show. God damn it. Green Man's a fucking great pick, man. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take your word for it, but I, if I'm going to if I'm going to be honest, I I'm not a big fan of this team. <laughs> Excuse me, but the the mascot is it, I love him. I love watching all the fun shit that he does out on the field, and that's Blooper, the Atlanta Braves. The Braves, yeah. Yeah, he's fucking cool. He's fun. All right. Uh Derek, you get your last two. The Kool-Aid man. Damn it. <laughs> You fucking suck. <laughs> it's just because I don't even fucking think about those. Well, no. We, uh, we both obviously went the sports route, and Derek did not. Yeah. Hey, competitive eating is on ESPN. <laughs> yeah. That's more of a sport than fucking NASCAR racing is. And golf. It, uh, and, and golf. Re- and wrestling. No. It's not a don't sport. E- don't even go there. It's an act. Uh-huh. Uh, what about uh, your last pick there, Bubba? 
Hmm. Let's go with Chester Cheetah. Is that even a mascot? Yeah, they have a mascot. He is yeah, there for sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I've seen the stuffed guy in the suit. I got one sports guy, the Phoenix Gorilla. Yeah, that's yeah. True. I was gonna take the Seattle guy, but you were uh, dick. Yeah. Uh, Sorry about that. All right, I'm gonna go with the Utah Jazz Bear. Mm. He's good. He does all kinds of really cool shit. There yeah. was uh, the only reason why I picked this is because I got to go see. The Chicago Bulls play the Utah Jazz when Michael Jordan was still on the team. And Carl, the mailman Malone, had a fucking Harley. And f- right before the game, that fucking bear got on that thing yeah. and just fucking roared it all the way out there. It was fucking rad. So, yeah, that, that's a good one for me. I got an honorable mention. I all right, you, you better go. JP, what's your last pick? Mm. Wendy. The Pegasus. <laughs> Dude, you should have picked Wendy. That, that's the they, uh, them mascot of all of them. I'm uh, going to go with the uh, Bucks mascot, the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, what the hell's his name? It's a, it's a Buck. Uh-huh. I think his name is Buck. Oh, uh, okay. But, dude, that if there was a uh, actual like documentary about this guy, uh-huh. like in the things that he like yeah. elevated as far as mascots go, yeah. and the dude himself is just a fucking phenomenal guy. That's cool. So that's why I'm picking that one. There's also, you can look that up, dude. It's a hell of a document. It's a really cool I deal. believe you. It's Some of cool. these dudes are fucking stunting, yeah, me, right? Dude, this dude, like... Dude, he he was doing crazy shit that nobody had ever done before, mm-hmm. like climbing onto fucking hundred foot tall ladders. And oh fucking, yeah, like just crazy shit. So there was a college mascot. I want to say it was B- BYU. It was a cougar, and he would like get the cheerleading squad to throw him from the fucking three point line and dunk it. I'm almost positive it's yeah, BYU. That's cool. But when you're Mormon, you got to fucking figure you shit out. Figure that shit you don't out, have man. electricity yeah. or any of that right. shit. So you, you just got to throw. To do. Yeah. You just got to throw fuckers up there to dunk. I should have picked. Was, I should have picked Bert Scott. Uh, Bert Scott. Yeah. It was the Bert Kreischer mascot. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was at the last Bert Kreischer oh, show. I went nice. To. Uh, Should have picked that. An honorable mention for me is definitely Wendy, like the w- yeah. Wichita Wind Surge mascot. Oh God, go and look that up. It'll Barney was one I was thinking uh, of. Barney, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he is a dude in a suit. I guess sexual harassment panda. Oh, what? Uh, it was from South Park. Oh, okay, uh, okay. I didn't see that one. Panda. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, Derek loved that one. Uh, but no, anybody else have any good ones? Uh, Bernie the St. Bernard, one of my favorites. Rumble. Avalanche. Cool. I like Rumble. Rumble. Which one's Rumble? Thunder. Oh, yeah. That is a good one. The dude mm. from fucking Denver. Uh, what the, that fucking guy that's like jumped off the fucking scoreboard to dunk. Oh, the yeah. The Nuggets guy. Oh, yeah. fuck, dude. They showed a first person view of that. Fuck that. Oh, yeah. Why? You scared of heights? On a ladder? Yeah. <laughs> In a plane? No. <laughs> I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other ones out there that we missed. And so uh, tomorrow or whenever this uh, uh, episode releases, you guys can comment the best mascots in your opinion. Uh, but, uh, yeah, and whoever wins, uh, Derek's not here next week, so he automatically is disqualified right no. out of the gate. So that means if you guys vote, I'm why not would you waste your vote on Derek? It's like it's Also, like, why waste your vote on Scotty? Yeah, but it's like voting for Bobby <clears throat> Kennedy Jr. anyway. All right? There you go. Anyways, now let's move on to my favorite part of every single episode. Episode. Let's move on to the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode, the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang and Jay fucking <laughs> <laughs> and Derek Alders. <laughs> no, and Derek the Rec Alders. Derek actually pushed that button on JP. So yeah, that's how that worked out. Dick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you guys very much for uh, being able to do an episode. I sincerely do appreciate it. Um, again, do we have any shows coming up? Uh, y- we got Derek, who's going to be hosting the finals uh, on the 20th of November yeah, sure. at Club Wave. Yep. Uh, and do you have any shows that you know of uh, up until that point? No. Nah. Uh, JP, any chance uh, at all? Uh, dude, I can't. Fuck, dude, you know how hard it is to deal with Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to hear it. I'll okay. tell you when it's coming. Okay, sounds good. Well, it might fair be a while fair enough. 
Uh, but I first want to give credit to the person. I didn't even give him a shout out who suggested the mascots. Uh, this was actually from Caden Lothrop. So thank you very much, Caden. Good job on the mascots for the draft. Uh, but this week's uh, shitty situation also was this, a listener who suggested this is from John Wiggins. He wants to know, would you rather have a small dick and strong orgasms or have a big dick with weak orgasms? Well, I've tried the first one. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, damn it. So, Mike, I guess I'm going to, my question is, do they feel the same? Oh. Because I don't care how much comes out. <laughs> okay. like, I could give a, the well, less the better. And that's where we differ. <laughs> <laughs> the that's, less the better for yeah, me. Yeah, and that's where we differ. Let's hi- let's hypothetically say this. It's both. So it's the le- it's less right. of that and less uh, pleasure. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I, with with a big dick comes, I've heard there's called stuff called big dick energy. I don't know about this, <laughs> but I've heard this. So, um, thing. so I'm going to go, you know, for once in my life, I want to be different. Oh. I'm going to have a huge wiener. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, Jesus. With weak orgasms and, and no, I don't no, just no, yeah. I, I don't care. Ah, uh, man. I'd have a better job, <laughs> <laughs> better credit score. That's yeah. not always the, I, I wouldn't have to go to the cheerleader car wash. Anymore. I disagree I say, on all counts. <laughs> that's uh, right. JP. Let me tell you that just having a big dig doesn't equal all those things. Gets out of tickets all of the time. Right. Right. Mm. No. Once. Once. See, hey, it happens. There you go. I'd be fine if I went to prison. I'm. You know what? I I've lived 37 years of my life with the first one, and so I am just gonna go ahead and stick with living my life as a normal small dicked individual. <laughs> with great orgasms i think that'd be just fine just nothing changes i I feel like if you had a if you had a large dick you it's not as fun uh as far as the 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 orgasm is going to be weaker you're not going to have as much semen and so guess what it's not as fun and eh, i'm getting used to the first part of my life and it's okay it'd just be nice to hear oh instead of (laughs) oh (laughs) I you've, think that'd you've, be been, cool. you've been married for 10 years too. What do you expect? Yeah. Yeah. So. Like it's still the same size. You don't have to act disappointed every time. Yeah. Like you know what's happening here. Absolutely. And they make fake ones just in case you wanted to make your wife happy. So there you go. Yeah, but I don't like her that much. Okay. <laughs> I just, right. I just clip my fingernails. She's happy with that. All right. That's good. Good for you. Did you do it once every month? <laughs> no, that's okay. the dogs. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> How about you down there, JP? I'm going with the big dick. Of course you are. Because after having one For the and same seeing reasons. people's reactions, like yeah. if they, if you just find some guy at a club and you're making out and you go home with them and you whip that thing out, the look on his face is fucking worth not having a great orgasm. Uh, I don't know about that, man. Uh, I do. I, I don't. I don't. I do. I, like imagine you uh, like Dude. you have you buy you have to buy like a, a an athletic you can't cup go for yourself. Back, bro. I I mean here's the thing I could ne- if I had a small dick I would shoot myself in the head <laughs> like that might be the only thing keeping me alive right now well you know what I'm glad you're still around buddy yeah, I, 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 we we love you here as long as my dicks doesn't start shrinking I'm good we we love you man hey, start I, I love start you too. following my diet at will <laughs> I love you too buddy. Gatorade started getting to them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, they put a Y in it. <laughs> yeah. Gatorade. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but no, thank you guys so very much. This is going to be uh, for Halloween. A bottle a of Gatorade. Gatorade. Gator- yeah. Nice. Uh, but thank you guys so very much for listening to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. We sincerely do appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you again to Derek the Rec Alders and Jay the Gay P. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> uh, gotta got love that. Oh uh, shit! I'm gonna be a mascot. <laughs> nice, <laughs> he is. Uh, but thank you, you guys. The grind- you I'm the grinder drafted. mascot. Absolutely. Uh, but hey, man, enjoy your vacation. You deserve it. Hope you have a great time. Yeah, thanks for not bowling with me next week. Yeah, Absolutely. Prick. Yeah, hey, trust me. After the way I bowled yesterday, Dude, it didn't matter. That's what I'm trying to tell yeah. you. Didn't, our team sucks so fucking bad. You come bowl. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to fucking ever do that shit. You do. No. Why not? Abs, I hate bowling, dude. I hate it. I talk to bowling. It hates you back. Okay. (laughs) Sounds good. Uh, But thank all you listeners. Thank you guys so very much. Thank for you new listeners. And thanks for all the OGs. We sincerely appreciate every single one of you. And as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us. We hope you get stuck on an 18-hour flight sitting next to someone's service screaming goat. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemy. And until next time, guys. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care. <laughs>